Hi guys, it's Christina and the title of this video is healthy alternatives to a coffee creamer. So guess what? I'm going to show you how to make delicious, easy coffee creamers at home using plant-based milk so you can enjoy a barista type of coffee at your own place. By the way, if you like this type of content, be sure to like this video and also if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I get it. Trust me. I know that even when you're home, you still want to enjoy a morning drink or an afternoon drink the way that your favorite barista makes. I get it. One of my favorite morning rituals is actually making my favorite morning drink, either it be a cappuccino or some type of latte, and sitting under the sun on my balcony just before I get into all the things that I need to do throughout the day. And because I value this moment, because I love this ritual, I wanted to make sure that also my morning drink served its purpose. In this video, I'm going to show you the equipment, the tools that I'm using to make my creamers, also the type of milk that I'm using, and finally, I'll show you how to make some non-standard creamers. A year or so ago, I invested in an espresso machine, which I'm using when I make my cappuccino. However, when I did not have one, I used to use a blender in order to make my morning coffee. I have a video on my channel actually that I show how I used to do it. So definitely go and check it out later. And by the way, what I'm going to show you today does not apply only to coffee. It can be applied to other types of drink like beetroot latte, matcha latte, golden milk, or anything else you prefer to drink. This just works really well. Now, the reason I mentioned my espresso machine is that it does come with a frother, so making creamers should have been a piece of cake, right? Well, it wasn't for me. I never got the hang of using the frother. It releases warm water, which may be the point, but the result was far from the foam or the creamy milk texture that I'm used to seeing in my cup. It was just watery milk, yuck. So it just did not work for me. Since this did not work for me, I started using an electric hand whisk and this has done wonders to my coffee making skills. I actually think it shows that I have used it a lot. It's just elevated my skills to honestly to the next level and I'm not sure what I would do without it at this point. How I love you. And my second equipment is a small pan, shall I call it, or a Greek coffee maker, Turkish coffee maker. You can find this in Eastern or Oriental shops around the world. It keeps the whisking in one place and allows the creamer to form much quicker. Cool, so now that we talked about the equipment that I'm using, which is just two, let's look into the types of milk. There is no doubt that cow milk makes a really good creamer for coffees, or other drinks. And the reason is the proportion of fats, protein, and sugars in the milk. But don't worry, I'm showing you in this video how to use plant-based milk in order to create creamy textures. So bear with me. One of the very first type of milks that I tried with my coffees was oat milk. Honestly, I loved it and I was obsessed with it for like a year or so. It makes a really good creamer. I actually have a video on my channel on how to make oat milk at home if you're interested, as it is super easy and super cheap. I will provide a link in the description section. Oat milk makes a great creamer because of the content of carbohydrates that it has. Think of the whipped coffee that went viral these days. It's because it had to have sugars to create that texture that you see. I have used coconut milk as well, but I find that the flavor is quite overpowering, so it's not my first uh, choice anymore. And I also find that it's very difficult to 
create to get that foam or that um, creamer texture so you have to mix it with something else like a different milk so coconut milk and almond milk or you have to add more fat to it like mct oil or protein powder it doesn't go well on its own so you do have to have something else in order to create that creamy texture this is how it comes out this is not bad but the texture definitely could be better I think it goes well with a blender, so potentially it just needs a different equipment. At the moment I'm using almond milk and this has been my favorite for the last two to three months. Most of the time I can just warm it slightly and whisk it and I am ready to enjoy my drink. I love the nutty flavor that it gives to the drink. However, you need to be super careful how you treat almond milk because the nutty flavor can become overpowering if you warm it too much, taking the spotlight away from the coffee. Also, you probably noticed that when you go out to coffee places and get almond cappuccino, you will get it with sweetened almond milk. When I asked my barista why that is, he said because of the sugars in the milk. They help create that creamy textures, which we mentioned before. But with the electric hand whisk that I have, which I really think it's like my superhero, I can create that creamy texture without the sugars. So using the unsweetened almond milk. And I'm going to show you three different ways you can use it as a creamer. Although you can enjoy it on its own, if you want to experiment with something different, try these ones that I'm going to show you. As I mentioned earlier, you can warm your almond milk or basically any other nut milk you like and just before you start whisking, add a teaspoon of MCT oil. This creamer is rich in flavor, plus MCT oil is a great source of energy that fuels your brain and may reduce risk factors of heart disease. Plus, it promotes weight loss. Another option is adding a teaspoon of protein powder. The texture gets thicker, creating a top layer that is a bit more solid, which you can also get on a teaspoon and into your mouth. Last but not least, you can use either one type of milk, example almond milk, or you can use two types of milks, for example, almond milk and cashew milk or almond milk and coconut milk. Add either a teaspoon of vanilla extract or, and this is my favorite, you can add the content of a vanilla pod. Shake, shake, shake and use this as your creamer, your vanilla creamer. Warm it for less than a minute, whisk it, and there you go, your vanilla flavored drink. These were my recommendations for healthy alternatives to your standard coffee creamers. I really hope you enjoyed them and if you did, do hit the like button and also let me know in the comment section if there is another recipe that you use for your creamers. I would love to hear from you. And if you're new to my channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos. I am signing off and I will see you in the next episode.